So literally after I got done recording this entire video, I found out that Night Dive Studios may actually have the source code to Jurassic Park Trespasser. I can't confirm that independently, but if that's legit, then a remaster of the game could happen quicker than I ever imagined, and I've even seen a lot of recent talk about it from people that are kind of wanting to see this project finally get its due. Apparently this isn't being worked on just yet from what I've gathered, but even with the info that Trespasser 2 was basically scrapped and turned into the Jurassic World trilogy, and the fact that they're making that new Jurassic Park survival game, I think it's about time we started talking about the video game remaster that would make Jurassic fans, like, super excited. What's going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. Now, of course, the game I'm talking about here is called Trespasser Jurassic Park, a project that was a colossal failure upon release, but not for lack of trying. And it's been hailed as inspirational to Valve's development of some of the greatest games ever made like Half-Life 2 and even the newer VR title Half-Life Alex is often said to be something of a roadmap for anyone that wants to revitalize Trespasser and make it new again. Now, you might be thinking, who cares? It's old. Well, look, this can very well happen with the likes of companies such as Night Dive Studios already being phenomenal at the work they've done on games from the same era like Torok Dinosaur Hunter and Torok 2 Seeds of Evil. Now, why do so many people such as myself, especially Jurassic Park fans, want something like this to happen? If this game turned out to not be very successful in the late 90s and you're some higher up at Universal Studios today or even DreamWorks or Amblin, surely you wouldn't care about this old relic from the time going overlooked for all of eternity, who cares, right? Well, to put things mildly, that would be unbelievably stupid to the modern Jurassic World brand. To be honest, it's not like they haven't tried out similar things to this, by the way, in the very recent past. Titles like Jurassic World Aftermath already played around with the idea of a first-person survival game, albeit the biggest criticisms of that entry centered around the more family-friendly sort of look of the graphics. But to tell you the truth, this is the Achilles heel of most Jurassic World material these days, the fact that these projects are often held back and restrained by the restrained writing, and it's shown to be a bit Big point of criticism for the entirety of the Jurassic World era as, you know, products go in 2023. If you look at how much attention Camp Cretaceous Season 3 or Fallen Kingdom got, the numbers and views and likes are way higher than stuff like Chaos Theory and anything post-Dominion. And it's going to continue that way unless they do something different. And that's, in my opinion, where Trespasser should take over. You see, remaking this game and bringing it into the present day would not be that big of a job. In fact, it probably wouldn't even be that expensive, with the base game already being developed nearly 25 years ago, and the only additional work being the incorporation or creation of the missing levels that were never able to make it into the 1998 retail release. You know, the ones fans have been begging for and the complete version of Trespasser for years. This would not only turn heads for being a remastered version of one of the most notorious and influential video games ever made but it would be in the actual completed form that was never given to the public. Think of it as kind of Trespasser Final Cut, the finished version that would be released for people to finally enjoy. The marketing literally writes itself. Can you imagine the advertisements for something like this? Of course, Universal has already seen recent success with the attention they've gotten from the older Nintendo and Sega games coming out on newer consoles. Long before the days of Jurassic World Evolution and even Operation Genesis, Jurassic Park fans got new games like those nearly every year. Rampage Edition, The Chaos Continues, and even beyond with a project like Trespasser, it's obviously what the brand was originally built on when it comes to merchandise. And the Red Rex itself being a popular item is also spiritually present in the 1998 video game for everyone to connect back to. They're even selling that as a toy these days. So look, if I haven't made it already super clear, I think Trespasser could make this company a lot of money in a relative short amount of time and it would just be doing what Jurassic Park fans have been asking for for literally decades. Of course you would need to line things up with modern material from their movies but it's not exactly difficult to do. Look just listen to me guys if they ever mention a date like 1989 or 1997 just cut that out. You've already got so much material you don't have to muddy the waters and that was the big issue
issue with the lore. This would literally be so simple and I and several other fans would be willing to help them iron out the details like that in the process, but you probably wouldn't even need us to. Look, when it comes to how you could actually repackage Trespasser, get the source code, put in additional dinosaur encounters like Stegosaurs, Brachiosaurs, Triceratops, and Parasaurs so that it's not so empty and just have those dinosaurs more lush, updated graphics and all over the place. By the way, you can also have new dinosaurs like the Carnotaurus, Compsognathus, Pteranodon, Mamenchisaurus, Pachycephalosaurus, Dilophosaurus, Baryonyx, Gallimimus. Just make it look like the Lost World. And when it comes to the bosses, you've already got the normal T-Rexes and then the big Red Rex of the Mayan Ruins, the Super Raptor at the end of the game, but you can even include more stuff like the Mamenchisaurus or something. Put back in the levels they were developing early on, like the Plantation House, the Geothermal Power Plant, Pine Valley, and then add some stuff that looks more like the films, like something from Jurassic Park 3's Laboratory, Embryonics Administration, maybe something more along the lines of a coast, or the planes that the game trail's based on in the Lost World. You could even throw in new dinosaur species, so it's like, hey guys, you're not just getting Trespasser, you're getting like an actual updated game finished the way it was originally meant to be, only also perfected. So no one complains. Look, I, I keep bringing up Night Dive Studios. They are the perfect guys to do this. So you could add in stuff like a T-Rex versus a Triceratops, maybe even a Carnotaurus versus a Raptors or Dilophosaurus spitting mechanics. There's so much stuff you could do with an updated version of Jurassic Park Trespasser and you could put it out on literally everything from the Nintendo Switch to the PlayStation 5, Xbox, PC. I just think this is a slam dunk. I don't really know why nobody has thought to do this and it's a game game that people will pay attention to. If you come out and say we've got a brand new remaster of Jurassic Park Trespasser with additional levels, dinosaurs, improved mechanics where the dinosaurs don't look like they're tripping over themselves when they walk, people are going to look at that and be like, hey, I know Trespasser. Isn't that like one of the most well-known video games ever made that failed and they actually finished it? If this thing is good, which there's no way it wouldn't be, you would immediately get people coming out of the woodwork like, have you played that Jurassic Jurassic Park game? Dude, I, I didn't like some of those newer movies and I don't watch a lot of the TV shows and stuff like that, but that game, man, that ain't no walk in the park. That's like legit back to basics, old school fun. It would be very easy to do and fans would eat it up. Again, I've played through the entire game on the channel before in the past. Check it out, and there's a lot of cool mods that people have done too. This is a game that I think Jurassic Park fans would love, and you could even add DLC. Imagine getting Jeff Goldblum to record lines, or even Sam Neill or somebody to sit down and be like, you know, giving additional narration that they had uh, Minnie Driver listen to while she read Hammond's book. It just sounds cool. This sounds like the Jurassic Park game that I think people would love all over the place. And yeah, Universal, I'm just saying, you want to make money, do some stuff like this. And yeah, I, I can only say so much. Anyways, guys, these are my own thoughts on the most controversial Jurassic Park video game ever made and why I think it would make for an insanely cool remake. If you enjoyed the video, please like, and of course you can consider subscribing. I love these classic Jurassic Park games, the tone, the feel, the novels, everything that was going on back there, I think deserves to be in modern representations of the franchise. And yeah, I just, I'm an advocate for getting this stuff back out there. I really think a remake of Trespasser would be super easy and fun. But hey, whatever your own thoughts and opinions on any of this stuff has to be, guys, I want to know all your thoughts, concerns, and opinions on it. Tell me what you would like to see them do if they were to ever go in this direction in the comments down below. Now, before I go, I want to thank everyone that's helped me build my channel over the years. I'd also like to thank every one of you guys who've watched my stuff. You've all been extremely cool to me. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like and hope that you'll consider subscribing. God bless you all. Christ is King. See you guys in the next video. And as always, Take it easy.